CMS or content management system is typically consists of three main parts. First part is CMS code, which is basically the editing interface or code base of the core CMS system. Then second part is the user content. That is like user files, its uh, content collection, tables or a database. That is the content. And the third part is interface or a front end or access point for accessing that CMS. In a traditional CMS, these three components are tightly integrated into one monolithic system. Imagine it as a single inseparable unit. This approach offers simplicity but comes with a limitation in terms of customization and flexibility. As you can see, backend, frontend and content, everything integrated into one. Traditional CMS is often single purpose. It is designed to manage and display content in a specific way, usually for a website or a specialized tool. Great for its intended pur purpose, but limited in scope. The examples of uh, traditional CMS are like WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Webflow, in some cases, Django as well. Now let's see headless CMS. So as you can see, the key difference between the traditional CMS and headless CMS is there is practically no head. It means it's decoupled from the core CMS system and you can pick and choose your heads. Headless doesn't mean there are there is no head. It means there are multiple heads you can choose from. And the main system is decoupled from its presentation layer. Kind of front end is different and core CMS is different. And but due to this, this is multi-purpose by nature because the content management is separated from the presentation. The same CMS can serve content to a website, mobile application, a smart TV, a IoT device, voice assist assistant. It's kind of like a Swiss army knife, a single CMS serving all the purpose. And here are some examples of headless CMS systems like directors. Directors is a headless CMS, headless CMS as well and a low code tool as well. Strappy CMS is also the headless CMS. Then there is Sanity, Contentful and Superb is also a headless CMS. I hope you uh, got the idea what the core differentiation is between the traditional or generic CMS systems and the headless content management systems. Thank you.